Honk, you ungrateful wretches! Honk for your beloved principal! <laughs> Why, thank you, children. What a wonderful surprise. <laughs> And now, the moment you've all been eagerly awaiting, a retrospective of my many glorious achievements. Here I am discovering the North Pole, where I also discovered the Ice Cube. Ice Cube? How could you discover the Ice Cube? Then, after building the Great Pyramids, I defeated the Loch Ness Monster in single-handed combat. And I still have the flipper marks to prove it. Ah! <laughs> Here I am at work in my laboratory where I, and I alone, invented the Jelly Donut. Yeah, right. He doesn't really expect us to swallow that one. Yes, he does, Jacob. But if you don't want yours, I'll swallow it for you. In honor of this special day, please enjoy these complimentary Dales. Direct from my Goody Guts Donut Factory. It's true. It's true. Now then, wouldn't you all like to wish me a happy birthday again? Happy In honor of Principal Greedy Gut's birthday, I'm assigning each of you little brats a 10,000-word essay on one of his many noteworthy accomplishments. Aww. The Power in the Jelly, the amazing true-life story of how Principal Greedy Guts invented the jelly donut. Lucky you! Let me know if you need any help with the research. Especially Blueberry. <laughs> What's your topic, Buford? The lion and leotards. Principal Greedy Guts' triumphant season with the National Ballet. Jackpot! Jackpot? Principal Greedy Guts and leotards? In leotards? Sure. I love a good horror story. That's quite the afternoon snack, Jake. Better leave room for dinner. Believe it or not, this is homework. This is homework. Oh, well, in that case, you better let me give you a hand. <laughs> now, when I was your age, we didn't have donut shops in every corner. We had to go all the way downtown to this great little bakery, Sugarloaf Sweets. Sugarloaf Sweets? Mr. Sugarloaf was the Michelangelo of donuts, the Gordy Howe of glazes. He had peanut butter banana chocolate, orange mango old fashioned, and pineapple raspberry twist. Mm. What about jelly donuts? Did he make those? Did he make those? Uh -uh. <sighs> I have to write an essay on how Principal Greedy Guts invented the jelly donut. Hmm? Mm. Greedy Guts? He also claims he built the pyramids, fought the Loch Ness Monster, discovered the North Pole, and the Ice Cube. Hmm. Principal Greedy Guts has what I'd call an active imagination. <laughs> you can say that again. Principal Greedy Guts couldn't have invented the jelly donut. A good reporter always double-checks the facts, Jake. You might want to do a little more research. The library's a good place to start. I'll do that. Thanks for all the, um... Uh... Help, Dad. My pleasure, partner. Anytime you need help with this kind of homework, just let me know. <sighs> it says here, Boris Got Enough Guts was a star with the Moscow Ballet before he defected to Canada and changed his name to Greedy Guts. That's not all he changed. Hmm. I guess he has put on a couple hundred pounds. Not his weight, Buford. His head. He switched heads. Whoa! He's a mad scientist and a famous ballerina? Where does he find the time? He just switched heads in the picture, Buford. Rats! The mad scientist angle would have been a nice surprise ending for my essay. Aha! The discovery of the jelly donut. The jelly donut long regarded as the staple of the Canadian diet, 
was the creation of I Am Greedy Guts. However... However? However what? Who knows? Someone scribbled the rest out with black marker. Probably a jealous ballet dancer with their tights in a twist. This is the same photo Principal Greedy Guts showed us before. But what's behind this scribble? If we can get a look at the original version of that picture, we can see what he's hiding. It must be around here somewhere. Maybe it's somewhere behind all these photos. Whoa! It's like a Principal Greedy Guts museum. I love museums. They remind me of my Uncle Lester's apartment. It's filled with ancient artifacts, especially in the refrigerator. I see it. Buford, give me a boost. Freeze, Tutu! Ah! Sneaking into the principal's office. That's a hundred years in detention. Each? Or can we divide that by two? But, sir, we were just doing research for our essays on your many amazing accomplishments. Essays? About me? 10,000 words! Ooh, that's even more than last year. Miss Sour Pickle really knows how to kiss up to a principal. Buford's essays on your famous ballet career. Uh, he was wondering if he could ask you a few questions. Right, Buford? Huh? Yes, well, from the earliest age, I longed to express myself through dance. I was a sensitive child. Did it hurt your toes to wear those tight, pointy shoes? Well, a little. My tootsies are very sensitive, too, you know. How about those pink tights? Did they give you wedgies? They weren't pink. They were desert rose. Can you do a flip? You don't do flips in ballet. Interesting. How about a pirouette? Do they do those in ballet? Of course. Great. Can I see you do one? No. Please. I'd like to do a sketch for my essay. Visuals really help. Well, thanks for sharing your time, Principal Greedy Guts. I think we've got enough information to write the best essays ever. The best ever! Since I'm a perfect principal, those had better be perfect essays. I'm sure they'll be very... revealing. Bye! Wait! What about my sketch? What? No way! Why would he cut up his own picture? Maybe he wanted a picture with more than four sides. I think he didn't want anyone to see what's in that corner. Hmm, maybe that too. There it is, Buford. The Goody Guts Donut Factory. Just like the picture, only bigger. Let's see what Greedy Guts is hiding. It looks like your left nostril. Buford, you have to look from this side. Oh, right. It's just an old building. Why would he want to hide that? Esker last seats. It must have been a chair store. Sugarloaf Sweets. It's the place my dad mentioned. He said they made the best donuts ever. Not anymore. Unless they're making them out of cobwebs. I wonder why they shut down. <clears throat> what are you boys doing hanging around this old place, hmm? My dad used to come here. He said it was run by the Michelangelo of Donuts. Well, your dad sounds like a man who knows his donuts. Why did Sugarloaf Sweets close? I bet they had to shut down because they made a donut so big that it was going to crush the city. So the mayor said, you've got to shut the store now before your really big donut crushes us all. Not quite. Well, Sugarloaf Sweets was run by Lloyd Sugarloaf, a hard-working and honest young baker. Business was good. Everyone loved his donuts. Everyone except I am Greedy Guts. Principal Greedy Guts? But he never met a donut he didn't like. Oh, he liked him, I suppose. But he was never satisfied. He always wanted something bigger, better, sweeter. Ah! Day 
after day, Lloyd tried to satisfy Greedy Guts. We made donuts so sweet, you'd get cavities just looking at them. But poor Lloyd had hit a brick wall. Was nothing sweet enough for that greedy glutton? Then Lloyd got an idea. Fill the donut with jelly. It took some trial and error. But finally, Lloyd created a donut that could withstand the massive pressure. It worked! He satisfied his crankiest customer and invented the greatest donut known to mankind. So it was Lloyd Sugarloaf who invented the jelly donut. I'll bet he built the pyramids and discovered the ice cube, too. But what happened? Why did Lloyd close his bakery? Well, someone stole the recipe! Who'd do something dirty, low down, and sneaky like that? Him. <gasps> the yard man? No, no, behind him. Oh. Somebody named Greedy Guts, right, mister? All I'm saying is next thing you know, the Goody Guts factory opens up right next door, making the exact same jelly donuts. Didn't Lloyd tell the police? Oh, well, sure, but he couldn't prove a thing. Not without that recipe. That's awful. But what happened to Lloyd's sugar loaf? <sighs> No one knows. Principal Greedy Guts! <laughs> Puford, did you see that? Yeah, Principal Greedy Guts is mean to everyone, not just kids. He's a stinker, a stinker! He never invented the jelly donut. He stole it from Lloyd Sugarloaf. We've got to find him. <coughs> Principal Greedy Guts! What are you two doing here? We're hoping you could give us a guided tour of your donut factory. We were? <coughs> I mean, yes, we were. For my essay about you. It's called The Power and the Jelly. Oh, yes. Uh, an ode to my creative genius. Well, I suppose I owe it to my legions of adoring donut fans to provide... Pretending we wanted a tour was a great idea. Who's pretending? <laughs> the magic all starts here. We take only the finest ingredients and use them to make a delicious dough. Here, my fabulous donuts begin to take form. Each one round and soft as the top of my skull. <laughs> Keep your eyes open, Buford. Maybe we can find some sort of evidence that he stole the jelly donut recipe. Next, they're dropped into a hot bath of melted fat. Then, the most important step of all, filling them with the finest jelly. Jelly so melt in your mouth good, you'd step over your own grandmother just to get another bite! <laughs> then a light dusting of delicious powdered sugar and voila! The perfect Goody Guts jelly donut. And now, last and certainly the most impressive, my numerous awards. The Open Heart Surgeons of North America Gold Medal. It's the recipe. The recipe for the jelly donut. Yes, this recipe, which I came up with on my own, by myself, proves that I, and I alone, created the jelly donut. Malfunction, Sector 12. Jam spillage, Sector 12. Jam spillage? Oh, boy! I mean, oh, no! I can't let all that precious jam go to waste. Um, I'll handle this. You two stay here and bask in the glow of my trophies. And don't touch anything! Hmm. What's this? 
Secret Sugarloaf signature. He looks familiar. Who does? Lloyd Sugarloaf. He does look familiar. Hey, that looks like my Uncle Eustace. Now it looks like my Aunt Edith. It's Lloyd Sugarloaf. Lloyd Sugarloaf is my Aunt Edith? No, no. He's the yard man we met outside. Greedy Guts put him out of business, and now he's forced to work for the stinker who stole his recipe. It's time to call in the police. <laughs> Hope that number's on speed dial. <laughs> Ooh, if only there could be a jam spill every day. If you're going to call the police, it should be soon, or even sooner. What are you doing? Ah! <sighs> we know you stole the jelly donut recipe from Lloyd Sugarloaf. What? Ridiculous. You cut his bakery out of your photos. It was ugly, an eyesore, an affront to my senses. So that's why you did it. That retro 50s look is a little passe. You were trying to hide the truth. You stole Lloyd Sugarloaf's jelly donut recipe and ruined his life. Fine, yes, I did all that. I swiped Lloyd's recipe, covered it all up, and built a donut empire. And you know what else I did? I got away with it, because without proof, no one will ever believe you. <laughs> you mean this proof? Exactly. What? Give me that! We've got to get out of here. Do we have to? Ah, those brats can't escape the long, robotic arms of greedy guts. <laughs> Suckers. Hop on, Jacob. What? Woohoo! This is fun! I'll blast him into oblivion! Look out! Class dismissed. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> We're stuck! We're stuck! Delicious! Ah! Talk about being in a jam. <laughs> Ow! Shouldn't have used so much glue. Uh, Lloyd Sugarloaf? Thanks for rescuing us. Guess we'll never know what it's like to be pumped full of jelly. Mr. Sugarloaf, we got it back. We got your recipe. <gasps> Finally, I have proof that I'm the real inventor of the jelly donut. Give me that. Sorry, my mom says gimme gimme never gets. Thanks, boys. Now, let's hightail it out of this terrible excuse for a bakery. Whoa. You don't know when you've been beaten, do you, Sugarloaf? Ah! Stop playing with my food, you little brats! Ah! <laughs> it looks like Gimme Gimme does get after all. <laughs> Close, but no donuts. Give that back. You stole it from Lloyd Sugarloaf. Yes, yes, I did. As a matter of fact, this makes it twice. But who's counting? I should have destroyed the only proof of my crime years ago. But I couldn't bear to part with one of my most treasured trophies. I have such a sentimental streak. We'll take that. What? No, it's mine. That's not the way we heard it. What do you mean you heard? Who squealed? You did. You phoned in this confession a half hour ago. I swiped Lloyd's recipe, covered it all up, and built a donut empire. We traced the call and got here as fast as we could. 
Somebody must have left the phone off the hook. Donut fraud is a very serious matter. No! No! Those are my donuts! No one loves them like I do! No! Look at that. Front page news. Greedy Guts had to sign his entire factory over to Lloyd just to stay out of jail. <laughs> I'm sure glad to see Sugarloaf Sweets is back in business. So are we, Dad. So are we. Here you go, boys. You've earned yourselves a free lifetime supply of Sugarloaf's original jelly donuts. My way of saying thanks for helping an old baker find justice. Our pleasure, Mr. Sugarloaf. Mine, too. Hmm. Victory has never tasted so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> No recipe, no factory. Those two brats ruined everything. At least I still have my donuts. Uh, boss, these guys are from the ex Goody Guts Donut Factory. They say they can't give you free donuts no more. What? No! No! Looks like Lloyd's cutting you off. No, not my donuts! Please! Take Leo instead! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha!